And, and I'll just go into a couple examples of that. Degrees of freedom means in which way can something move about? If you're trying to pick up something, one of the big things that you have to do whenever you're picking something up is you have to control the degrees of freedom. Degree of freedom is one thing that you'll learn as you start to understand more about systems. You'll start to think more along the lines of like, okay, how do I control this part? And, and so there's so much when it comes to automation that we really have to dive into a particular exact topic to really say like, what is the thing you should learn? Now let's go ahead and switch over to the robot programming thing and show you kind of how some of these things align. Going back to the nest part of it, in the mechanical engineer has to design that nest with the components, let's say one inch apart or 25 millimeters apart if you're working in metrics, say for like welding, you can't really like offset positions as much. You can do it and like at least get some like rough programming in place if you're a fast programmer, but a lot of times like you have to end up touching up things in the long run anyway. So some instances this doesn't work out. This is also something you learn after some experience. 